Prime Minister said was finally free from the toilet after a five hour ordeal. Now on DBC2, we join everyone's favorite computer whiz kid on the 8 bit guy. I wonder if I could just apologize. Um, okay. Right, well, that's what I was expecting. Um, I'll just mention, I wanted to mention behind you there is a very noisy road. Uh, of course, the more I go this way, it will get quieter as far as that's concerned. But yeah, it's not a great place for the chap. I'm saying, Donald. I'm going to have to be in. Hello, Donald. Yeah. Hello, Donald. Hello, Donald. Okay, well, things didn't quite work out as planned for me on this one, but I'm not as concerned as you might think. I've got half a dozen different friends who are a heck of a lot better than the so-called 8-bit guy. Anyway, the thing is, though, that what this has taught me is never waste time on stupid losers. He's an absolute miserable garbage person. Anyway, I don't need losers in my life. Other people just make things worse. Screw them. I won't bother anymore. I won't be scared of being alone now. See, I was concerned before, but I'm fine with myself. New chapter, new era. Definitely looking forward to the future. I mean, yeah, screw the 8-bit guy. <laughs> more like the 8-shit guys. But yeah, I think I've spent more than enough time on this particular so-called event already. Exclusive focus on Tech Moan from now on. I hate the 8-bit guy. No. I'm sick of his crap. Should be hanged. I warn you, stay away from him. Very, very dangerous individual. He needs to be cancelled and put him in prison straight away. So I need to make sure everyone knows all about what he's done to me. <laughs> Never in my life did I think that autographing things would be part of my job. Uh, nevertheless, I've, I've already got a, a little pile of hate mail here already. Now, I don't normally get this much in one day. This is a little bit of an unusual mail. I mean, this this is just escalated out of control. But I feel like I'm kind of doing a service because if that man gets, you know, some help with it, maybe the next person that needs it uh, will have it. Uh, so it really doesn't matter, like, what I say after a day or two. Twitter will move on to something else anyway. Uh, but anyway, I simply don't have the time for this. I need to move along and get this machine ready to retrobrite. I have a limited time with all three of these uh, borrowed machines, and I'm up against another deadline, which is the weather. According to the forecast, I have exactly one day of sunny weather with maybe two days of with a, a little sun here and there. So um, I'm going to have to move quickly to get all three of these computers done. So the very next morning, I went outside with the... Um, Yeah, but I'm not going to waste my time trying to even debate it here. Um, 
I think I was totally, totally shocked and taken by surprise at the uh, malicious outrage of posted on Twitter. And I don't really know what to say about it other than just, you know, I can apologize. I can say, hey, I'm sorry that you felt that I should have treated you differently when you were invading my guard for, you know, the um, car accident. Well, I don't want this stuff in my life. I don't need you guys to me and my family, so. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, please, I don't like being a jerk to people, but if you if you offer and I, and I politely decline, please don't go crazy because you're not helping me out. I mean, I hate that I have to be that way. I don't like doing that, but I did want to at least, you know, address it. So, so, hmm. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, hey, big guy, you DTF. That's the dynamic track following technology that Philips had developed for the Video 2000 system. Now, using this system, the video head was mounted on a piezo electric. The 8-bit guy is not really such a bad chap after all. But I wanted to make it up to him, so I've got an idea. We've got quite a few of these mini disc players. And as far as the US is concerned, mini disc never really happened. Despite Sony's best efforts, people just weren't interested in the format. So the 8-bit guy would have completely missed out. So I've got an idea. What I'm going to do is get a few spare machines that I could send to him. But uh, just because I don't really need them, I just thought it'd be a nice thing to do. But uh, these red and black ones, those uh, seem to be like the almost the pick of the bunch so far. He's going to be so happy with these. I've got a bonus gum stick. Uh, so let's see, does that... Hmm. <coughs> Us old YouTube guys need to help each other from time to time. I'll pop down the post office and uh, you can owe me a pint or something. So let's get on with it. We have a rather large problem. Tecmo is going crazy again. <laughs> Despite our efficient system, I was spending about eight hours a day opening packages from Tecmo for almost two months straight. My wife would come home from work and spend an hour or two opening stuff with me. Despite this, we could still only get about 50 packages opened out per day on average. And I think we worked together one Saturday and managed to open around 180 packages that day. My house was completely filled with boxes related to Tecmo. I even had to use part of my parents' garage to store the materials. So what about that? Is that an idea that could work? Yep. Okay. No, apparently it's a terrible idea. Alright, so uh, thanks Mac for coming and help me take care of my problem today. I think Tecmo abandoned the nest after the second or third shot, but uh, they won't have a home to come back to whenever, whenever they come back looking for it. Absolutely. Yeah, when I'm out in public, little kids will point and say, Mommy, Mommy, look, it's God.